the VP of Carrier Engagement with InsureMe. We're a fully end-to-end -end conversational interface for carriers. Um, so we're able to allow them to deploy this additional layer of uh, method of communication with their end consumers, utilizing chatbot uh, technology, as well as other components, so that they can retrieve the data um, based off the underlying AI and focus more on the business processes, but not neglect the consumer themselves. We're looking at major carriers. Um, we're seeing that most of the time, you know, carriers understand their product lines inside and out. We're product line agnostic. We're there really to help the carriers move forward in that communication process and understand the kinds of conversations that they should be having with their consumers. So we realize a lot of the time um, there's resistance to change. Um, sometimes it's apprehensiveness on behalf of the carriers because they feel that this is um, going to be replacing their current um, method of communicating with their customers, but it isn't. Um, it's just an additional layer. Uh, we expect, as a, an end consumer, the recipient or the buyer of these products, a multiplicity of options really in how we can engage with the companies that we purchase from, um, and this would allow them to do so. Um, but as far as real challenges, it's, it's really that resistance and overcoming that. We also approach the problems that we're solving differently. We really focus and work with the carrier to allow them to leverage us um, to really roll out and deploy this in the right way. Um, so we know that uh, chatbots are changing overall. We're built on Google AI, um, which is fantastic because we're also able to take advantage of the features and the releases that Google is working on um, as far as the underlying technology. What we're able to do then is become more conversational, allow our chatbots to be more fluid with the end consumers that they're interacting with, while also taking all the complexities of retrieving that data, processing it and applying it within the core business of these carriers um, and deliver it to them in a way that's very easy to consume. Um, and it's whether it's connecting directly to their back ends, um, giving them some advisement on how to utilize our current analytics dashboard if they want to start very high level. Um, it's constantly changing, but our focus is always to keep it simple and convenient. Well, we really just want to continue to empower these legacy carriers. Um, you know, previously I think we all saw the big banks with fintech really pushed back on that innovation window, but it's different in insurance. A lot of carriers are embracing it, um, they're looking to see what's next. At the end of the day, we want our customers to feel that we care about them. We're not just selling them an insurance product that they don't necessarily even understand. Um, and help them and follow them throughout the entire life cycle. Um, so we're really looking to just empower the carriers and continue that forward momentum um, with that whole customer engagement journey. You know, there's always gonna be a shiny object out there that people are chasing, um, and you'll be able to identify who's willing to take that risk and be the first and who's willing to be the followers and just wait to see what happens. But with the way things are evolving in the insure tech space, I don't know how prudent it is for companies to continue to wait and watch in the shadows. Um, if you wait too long, you start to see it reflected on the bottom line. Um, new innovation is starting to eat away at your profitability. And by the time you're ready to release something, you essentially are lost. Um, so I think it's wise uh, for a lot of the carriers that I've noticed, especially here at this conference, um, learning and engaging and listening and being open to how these um, new evolvements in insure tech can apply to their current business.